<laughs> What's up everybody? My name is Linda and you're watching The Radical Punch. Okay, so today's topic is the power of data. Why? Because data is everywhere, especially in social media platforms. And I've been living my own data drama for the past seven months. I've tried to uh, analyze 600 videos on YouTube manually. I go through every single video on the platform and I write down the views, the likes, the dislikes, the description tags. And just recently I discovered that there are actually platforms that do that for you automatically. 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 Tools like Datasift, they aggregate social data. And today we're going to talk about two of these, which is Datasift and Ginnip. Datasift and Gnip are two data collecting platforms that aggregate social data from Twitter, Facebook and many more social media platforms. So let's have a look at Datasift. You just go to your streams at Datasift, you create a new stream, search for the parameters you're interested in at the code toolbox and define your query and all you have to do is just wait for your live data to show up. Gnip is another awesome tool that you can use for social data collection. During their trial period, you can only use a few Twitter and Facebook queries, but the cool thing is that Gnip connects to various social media platforms if you upgrade your account. Once you select a social media platform, you can also edit the queries and wait for the live data to pop up. As soon as you're done collecting the data, you can get the XML file of the aggregation and use it for further research. <sighs> So what you can do with Datasift and Gnip, you can go to these platforms and you can aggregate all the data from your social media platform of preference and you can take the data and go to Google Fusion Tables, for example, clean the data, you can structure the data, analyze it, and you can even visualize the data. Hmm. So we've been experimenting with it. If you're interested in your Twitter followers, where do they come from and what they might be interested in, you can take the data from Datasift and Gnip, go to Google Fusion Tables and see where they come from on a map. Twitter on a map, baby, map, map, map. Ooh! <laughs> so this is it for today's topic, the power of data. If you have further platforms that you'd like uh, to share with us, let us know. If you have any questions, write to us, post a video response or anything so that we can get in touch and hopefully we'll see you next month. Drop us a radical punchline. So far this is the first episode. Uh, let us know if you have a cool punchline for Radical Punch and we'll include it in our next episode.